Okay, we made a template here. Just rub your fingers on there. Up here, just like that. Okay, I had to chop out a little bit of this metal here just so the cable wouldn't, wouldn't uh, rub on it. Didn't want to chop out too much and compromise the strength of the steel. Sit right in here and make it work. Strap on here for gusseting just to keep, if you do a little side pulling or something, strengthen everything up a little bit. Okay, so a little recap here. I'm just using a two inch ball receiver. Welded it out here. Uh, Gusset the side for side pulling. I know you're not really supposed to do that on these winches, but it'll happen. Got some more gusset in there just to strengthen it all up. It should be heavy belt and just remember you got to cut these out uh, so the cable don't wear right, next step here is uh, we're gonna put some paint on it and then get it mounted okay guys there we have it we got it all painted up mounted on we're gonna go test her out now Let's show you what how it turned out pretty good I like it Hey guys and gals, uh, welcome to Zim's channel again here. I'm going to continue on. made my uh, mount for the Badlands winch to mount in the back of a truck. And I'm going to make a 
receiver on my trailer. Uh, here's what we're gonna do. We got a uh, truck and four-wheel drive, e-brakes on. We're gonna see if the old uh, Badlands can pull it. Uh, we're gonna hook her, hook her to a tree right here, this big old cottonwood. Uh, I think we'll be all right, but who knows? Got my bush light. We're gonna get started here. Closer look up to my mount here, and we'll give you an idea what it sounds like up close. Now my battery. Flip the transmission there, freewheel it. Works pretty good. Okay, guys, uh, thanks for watching uh, Zim's channel. Please subscribe. It helps me out a lot. Uh, I got another couple videos on this winch. Thanks for watching.